she was just it's really sad actually with the tree you know by the way can i ask you because you mentioned i think you went to an eat someplace where, do you, where does your dog go like i mean can you bring the dog into the restaurant or what no, he was in the Econo Lodge Hotel while we okay. were in that particular video. There's actually uh, <coughs> more and more places. I am I am happy to say that have that appear to have become dog friendly uh, recently. And I notice more and more places in Austin, Texas, that are that are dog friendly, uh, which which is encouraging. Now, obviously, they're usually well, we've patios. we've got a growing trend towards service animals, too. I mean, that doesn't hurt, I suppose. But uh, i got to ask you a question, Hambone. How come you didn't bring your uh, camera with you today? Or wh why weren't we able to get you on uh, live screen? Because you take videos all the time. Uh, I don't... Uh, I, I got this computer I, about three months ago, and I've just never activated the camera. I actually... Uh, about three years ago, I got victimized by this, uh, by one of these internet scams, the Money Pack virus. And, uh, it, it, well, there's, there's a million of them out there, but, but. Sounds any, nefarious. Oh, God. You know, it's one of these things where they freeze your computer and, uh, they, they want $300 for you to unblock right. it and all of that crap. And it's uh, and they're usually pretty easy to uh, to dis. I've learned now what to do. Uh, if if you get hit by one of these things, it's actually pretty easy to back out of them. But uh, it was the first time I got hit by one, and it fucked me up. I mean, it really fucked me up. But but what it did, I happened to be uh, as. Uh, as I usually am, uh, you know, was lying there in my bed, absolutely butt-ass naked, and, and I was on the, uh, I, I was on the reading the the Sunday San Francisco Chronicle, and when when I got hit by this thing, and uh, I, even at this, I think this was. It was probably four years ago now, and I would even at that point I would I would have told people you're a conspiracy wacko, thinking that people can uh, can watch you from for your camera, and and so on a, on a Sunday morning, you know my computer went bleh, you know and froze up, and they actually sent me a picture that they had just taken of me lying in my bed, <laughs> butt ass naked. Now, fortunately, I was just, I, I was reading the San Francisco Chronicle, and I went on goddamn you porn uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, but, 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 it, but it pulled my head out of my ass real quick. Uh, you better, wow. you better goddamn believe. Around for someone under the age of thirty, and they're supposed to help you. Uh, well, well, yeah. I mean, they, 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 sh they sent me a picture of myself lying in my bed in my bedroom, butt ass <laughs> naked. Uh, and, and, and anyone who who acts like uh, who, who acts like. That the that that anyone out there isn't watching us. Have you have you guys gotten into this new Gmail? You know what you know what literally happened. Literally happened five minutes before we started this interview for the first time in my life. Okay, uh, I don't know if you guys if you guys have Gmail or not. I have Gmail. I okay. Know. I was communicating with you. About Gmail. Well, it was it was it was actually Osama number five. I was uh, I, I was uh, I was emailing uh, the right, right literally before literally five minutes before we started this conversation. Something that has never happened to me. So you might have noticed on this new Gmail, uh, if you have uh, if you have Gmail. Uh, a, a, a few weeks ago, they updated Gmail, and, and yeah. now what it does is, okay, you, you, you're, you're, you're having these private emails back and forth with your, you know, with your real life friends, you're, you're having these private emails, and then at the bottom, after someone sends you a message, they, they, they send free choices 
of response that that logically flow from the email are you following me that so you don't have to type your own personal response to the email yeah, yeah I saw that okay all right so you so you're uh, if, if people who don't have Gmail probably don't follow what I'm saying but anyway with the new Gmail so someone sends you a private message Google actually reads the email and tries to anticipate your response so one cho and, and, and I'm and, and I and I and I'm embarrassed to admit I've actually fallen for it a couple oh, yeah, of times this week all you do is click on one of Google's choices to answer your private friends email but yeah. no but but we're talking a different level so what I was doing with with Osama number five right before we started this interview I was I was I, I didn't choose one of the Google's three answers. I started. I, I was typing a a personalized response to a private email from a personal friend of mine, and as I was typing the sentence, Google finished the sentence for me. Are, are you following me? I mean, this this is this is a whole nother. I mean, Google literally in the time it took, and I type I, I type uh, like fifty words a minute. Google literally read my mind, anticipated what I was, how I was going to finish a private communication to a personal friend of mine. And, yeah. and automatically put in is that fucking weird or not guys well, well I, have to, I have to confess to you uh, Hambone that, that the good 50% of my discussion with you by, by email was Google talking <laughs> well, was, it, was it Google talking you were doing that too huh <laughs> that's a joke but <laughs> I, I did, use DuckDuckGo so I'm not going to get involved in that I it. no it's some it, it's some crazy ass shit guys uh, you know and, and how we just sit here and we not only tolerate it. I, I, I mean, guys our age, we, we tolerate this shit. But the, these kids, you know, this baseline, cradle to grave, nanny state, whatever you want to call it, that, that these kids coming up, they fully support this shit. They fully support it. it, it it's these young 20-somethings, I guess, coming out of college which they're hundred thousand dollar a year jobs that are that are developing this software to read our fucking minds and yeah, so, uh, so no independent thinking anymore is that what you're saying it's discouraged right well it, 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 it it's completely discouraged that you cannot even uh, you, you know you literally cannot complete your own private thought out of your own brain w without some fucking bot at Google, uh, you know, racing your own brain to finish the thought. And, and my guess is the majority of this planet, and certainly people under the age of 30, are 100% are cheering this on. And, and I think this is just a, a, a weird place in the evolution of humanity, and I'm not at all sure this is a, a good well, place. We survived. You haven't seen anything yet, and this is, I guess, going to lead to something bizarre to bring up. But I've, I've seen a few things in the news lately, Paul and Hambone. You know, with AI, uh, what do you think if they came out with robots, sex robots? Do you think, you know, obviously, if, if the robot seemed exactly like a human being, that this thing is going to be the future for people? It's exactly what it. I don't know if you heard. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I only have six thousand rants out there. The rant I put on, I think it was last night, that Houston, Texas, is opening the first sex robot whorehouse. Right, right here, two and a half hours from me. That you can go starting next week. They're opening the first sex robot whorehouse. Where for one hundred and twenty dollars, I can can pull out of my driveway. I I can drive two and a half hours. I can have sex with a robot in in Houston, Texas. 
that is that is something I can do next week. I I, I can. Uh, I can, and, and I'm actually, if it wasn't 120 bucks an hour to fuck a robot, uh, you know, just for the, just, the, you know, the, the, I, I fully admit, I, I fully admit the, 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 the main reason that I am not driving to Houston, Texas to fuck a robot next week is I'm a, is I'm a goddamn cheapskate. If I was making $100,000 a year, I probably would be. Well, you know, I was thinking this, actually, I think this, this kind of came to my mind when I was around 13. Campbell, there was a movie, I don't know if you guys would ever remember this, because it wasn't a really popular movie, but it was called Westworld. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember you that, know, hell and, yeah. And the woman orgasm, like, the, yeah. the, the eyes would light up, yeah. and I thought, well, like, the, the women, you know, they're, they don't even take a shit or anything like uh. that, and, you know, everything's very antiseptic, um, uh, but, I, I, but taking it forward to, to 2018, I'm thinking like young people may actually say, you know, they don't want the hassle of having to date and worry about this or that. And, um, it's, it, I think that kind of thing, when those robots get better, I, I think that eventually it's going to change basically sex forever. Well, it may there, even change marriage. Well, there was just a, uh, I can see this conversation as quickly. We've gone from. Uh, the collapse of a planet to sex robots, but it all ties in. I was just reading this thing, when was it? About six months ago I was doing a rant on this. I guess there was a survey in Japan for, uh, was it Japan or China, somewhere over there in Asia, and 25%, 25% of the respondents, you know, they were interviewing basically young men, I think, but maybe it was men our age, but 25% of the men answered they would prefer to have sex with a robot than with a live human female. 25%, and that's just with the stage of development uh, 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 of these sex bots today, uh, you know, and, and, and move this ahead. Uh, 15 years. What is that survey going to look like? I, I, mean, I mean, how many Marilyn Monroe robots will there be, or how many Brad Pitt robots will will I there mean, be? I mean, these 25 percent. I mean, have they had any experience, or they're just saying, "Hey, I mean, how can they make that claim?" Uh, you, you know, I don't know. It was just one of these crazies. I think it was on Huff Post or NPR, one of those little lefty stations. Uh, but, 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 you know, I mean, things are turning weird. Not only are, are, are things going to hell in a handbasket, they're just turning weird on, on this planet. And, uh... Hembone, are you an antinatalist? I am, I am 100% an antinatalist. I have, uh, the, uh, the, the, the number one... Uh, and Brian is as well. So neither of you have, are breeders? I don't know. I'm not a breeder at all. I have one child. You got one. But, so between uh, the three of us, we have one kid. That's not bad, guys. As much as I believe in that, I'm just saying, the way I see the world today, I don't see the world, you know, saying, hey, that looks like a good idea. We ought to do it. <laughs> I, I don't think you're going to change many minds. So uh, as a practical idea, I don't think it's great. I, I think it's it's correct. And I believe in it, but as a practical idea, at this point in time, uh, I, I don't see how you're. I mean, that's just like saying, "Hey, you know, the party's about to begin, and you're just going to shut it off for them." I mean, uh, now again, we're talking just about trying to, to limit the population. It's not talking about actually just stopping sex per se. But I don't know. How, I don't. I don't know. This. This. There's too many religious nuts out there. I guess is what I'm saying. Well, it. It. it the, the. The religion is that uh, ha having children is a good thing. Uh, now I many, many times have said the hands down the number one best decision I have ever made in my life since the day I was born that I have zero regrets about and have less regrets every day is my decision at age 22 to uh, get a vasectomy. So uh, I got snipped at age 22 and it, it, it was the single best decision I ever made on every single level of my life. And, and if I have one piece of advice 
one piece of advice to, to give particularly to the youngsters is get yourself sterilized. I, I mean, uh, for every reason, for, for yourself, for your unborn child, and for the planet. There, there is, I, I am a 100% uh, cheerleader of the voluntary human extinction movement. I am doing yeah. my part for the voluntary human extinction movement and mm -hmm. and that's my number one piece of advice to anybody listening now, to us with breeding now back to these uh these uh sex bots um, <laughs> i see where your mind is no, we're, we're, no you, you guys are actually i fuck I, the I, planet I, let's I, hell with I, the planet let's go back to these sex bots graham wants to know what would happen if you had a malfunctioning <laughs> <laughs> well that that's obviously uh, uh, one 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 of the. I assume they, that I'm assuming these uh, sex bots don't have teeth. Uh, <laughs> he, he wasn't I, I assume they don't have teeth. I, I'm assuming their uh, their lower intestinal tracts do not do what lower intestinal tracts were actually designed by nature to do. Uh, I assume yeah, uh, that they cannot get so pregnant. Right in the middle of the act, uh, uh, oh, God. A, a software update began. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't that be a bitch? You know, you're in the middle. I, you're, you're like two minutes from the goddamn money shot, and we have a Google <laughs> fucking update to your date that night. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, Google is updating your, uh, your date. <laughs> And uh, do you mind holding on for uh, for ten minutes while Google <laughs> updates your your sex bot? Oh God! Anyway, oh, God. I, I, I can see oh, I where think this people would just I mean, if they were into that. Would you, they would just have their own? You know, like you know, just like a, like a, a Pepsi machine in their house. They just have <laughs> that because they don't want to. Because you know, we know how people are. You know, you don't want to have like somebody else's bot. You know, I mean, you just well, that's the thing about these whorehouses. Yeah, I mean, get your dirty it, hands off. My well, house. you know, I mean, <laughs> sloppy seconds from a real woman right, is one thing, right. but I sloppy mean, seconds gross, from a you know? from a robot. Go hey, I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I mean, I am one desperate motherfucker. Uh, how many? You know, I, I am quite clear on uh, on my lack of sex life, but I am not quite ready to uh, to to have sloppy seconds from a sex well, bot. It ain't happening. Father Brett Kavanaugh. So uh, uh, I think he was thirteenth guy in. Oh uh, God. Yes, uh, bumping into Brett Kavanaugh coming out of a sex bot whorehouse in Houston, Texas. If anybody needs one, he does. You know? <laughs> Guys, you know how deep we're getting ourselves in. in I didn't in... expect it to go. It's actually my fault because I started. Yeah, you're, it, this is your fault. <laughs> you know, I, I'm in, an, I'm in enough West, trouble. The Westworld movie got me. You know? you know, actually, it started. I kept thinking of the past because, you know, we, we have Osama number five, right? And I keep thinking. He, He's, it's a play on Chanel number no. five, and it goes back to the '60s, <laughs> the early '70s. And then all of a sudden, like Yul Brenner's face, and then that <laughs> came into my head, you know, like Westworld. Then I said, "Hey, this kind of relates to what we're talking about with the future." So, Hambone seems like a, he's always uh, been cool. So I'll just uh, lay it on him, and then bang, here we are. Yes, but bang, probably, here we are, here we are, guys. Anyway, I cannot believe what this. But this converse, I, did, did did you when you were interviewing Guy McPherson? Did you talk about this subject or not? Did you I get? I haven't no, talked about this. Tim Bone, I gotta admit, we we, we uh, went low when you came. On. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really this wasn't this, this wasn't part of your Guy McPherson interview, huh? I am. I am. He might have hung up on us. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I am. Uh, Guy's cool, but he might. Like go for it. Who knows? Uh, I don't get me. Now. Don't 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 get me going. I'm three margaritas. We're not going to get into a Guy McPherson sex bot conversation. Now that ain't <laughs> that ain't gonna that ain't gonna happen. Well, um, you know, I'm in Hambone, enough trouble. Every YouTube channel personality, at least the ones in, in this kind of vein, everybody's different, you know. And yeah, and I think when you interview people, you kind of have to have a feel for where this thing's going. I mean, like I said, this <laughs> before we came on, they said this is kind of like being in a basement. You're, you know, on the couch, just you know, having a drink or something. You're talking. Other people, you have to, you know, be very, very formal and this and that. So yeah. each 
each interview is different. Now this is the ham bun circle jerk we're having here, guys. Uh, just it's just the three guys hanging around in the basement of the Doomosphere together, having our little circle jerk. Actually, yeah. I can't even. I mean, I've said you know, my motto <laughs> is I don't trust anybody in a suit, and I and I really believe that. But I can't even imagine you having ever worn a suit. No, I didn't. No, 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 no. I, and I I want to I want to make this clear. In, in 20 years of selling real estate. I never put on a tie. Well, no, no. There, at one time I put on a tie in 20 years of selling real estate was my Halloween costume. I, I dressed up as a real estate agent for Halloween. It, it was the funniest day. I mean, my best friends had no clue who I was. I, I put on the little Century 21 gold jacket and the white shirt and the maroon tie. I, I had a, 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 a nameplate with my, my, my name is Sam Mitchell, by the way. For any, any of you guys don't realize this, my real name is Sam Mitchell. I actually had my name on the nameplate, and, and my best friends at this Halloween party had no clue who I was. This is when I really was a Century 21 real estate agent. Was the best Halloween costume I've ever had. So no, I never once. Oh, there's no good. way I would work for a real estate office you know, that required way, I, I us to wear a tie. Because I would always like that. But Paul, Paul and I are big music fans, and out of this, out of a, I guess it was out of Atlanta, Georgia, was a group that uh, Steve Morse played. It's a group called the Dixie Dregs. And oh, really? The Dixie Dregs. Well, I'm an Atlanta, Georgia boy. So, so Steve Morse. Yeah. If you ever see him play, I think he plays now with with um, Deep he? Purple. Steve Moore always wears a t-shirt. He refuses to wear yeah. a tie. In fact, I think that was his problem. He, he was actually a, a pilot for an airline, and he refused to cut his hair, and he, he had to stop because he, he, he loves to fly. But he never he never wears a suit. He just doesn't trust people like that. And I get it. I mean, for some reason, I just... Well, my epitaph, I have said that uh, since, since, the, uh, since the epitaph, I'm told you I was sick, what was already is already taken. Mine is going to be. He died not knowing how to tie a tie or change a diaper. I have never, since the day I was born, changed a diaper in my entire life. Never done it. Never will. And I have had a tie around my neck a few, maybe a dozen times since I was born 59 years ago. But I have no clue how to tie a necktie or change a diaper, and I have every intention of going to my grave not that knowing way. how to do either. Uh, and, I, and I'm very proud to be able to say that. And this, that really, that's an I take that as an accomplishment. Really. And I've never texted either. I've, I've never changed a diaper, yeah. I've never tied a tie, and I've never sent a text since the day I was born. I'm, I'm proud of all of these. Yeah, I um, my problem with suits is um, I don't fit them anymore. <laughs> and there's that too. So, what does your T-shirt say? Great minds think alike. I have no clue. I I I I, I take donations for shirts. What does so, it say? So, who's great underneath? Who are the great minds underneath the bubble? We got Benjamin Franklin and who? Albert Einstein. Is that there who that is? Something on the back. I don't know. It's, it's anyway. There it is. Oh, yeah, EMC squared. There you go. <laughs> what does it say? It's some data it's storage no company. Following. It's some fucking data storage company taking, uh, whoring uh, Benjamin Franklin and, and uh, Albert Einstein's. Uh, my, my entire wardrobe consists of 10 t shirts, a uh, couple shorts, and uh, three, um, three. Uh, uh, what do you call them, uh, sweats or um, scrubs for work. And uh, the only guy in the world I know who's got a thinner wardrobe <laughs> might be Guy McPherson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let's be nice. Well, I am wearing my... Uh, uh, I, I, I am... Okay, hold it. There we go. I, I am oh, wearing my, uh, my, my Get Whacked for Wildlife t-shirt, which I got from the Center for Biological Diversity on National Vasectomy Day. I, uh, I shared my story about my, which you can find on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Just put in, vasectomy is not for pussies. And you will find uh, the story of Hambo getting his vasectomy. 
So I actually shared that on National Vasectomy Day and they used that video and they sent me the t-shirt. So I have what I am wearing, which you can't see, but I wear it all the time, is my Get Whacked for Wildlife about uh, encouraging people to get a vasectomy to save the planet. It's, the, it's my favorite t-shirt. That's what I'm wearing. Excellent. Have you ever heard the story about Humpty Dumpty? There's, there's a singing duo from the 60s, Aztec Two-Step, and they wrote a song about Humpty Dumpty where he actually didn't fall. He, he was trying to help Snow White out. She, she took the handsome man, the prince, instead of Humpty, and he decided to jump. Really kind of a... Oh, really? I need, I need to hear that because... Uh, in my, my own so friend, Humpty Dump, Mr. Mr. Dumpty, yeah, Mr. Like Dumpty. As, it's a beautiful song. It's 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 sad, but if you look up, well, find it and send it. Find it and send me the link. I'll do that for you because I think you would appreciate. That. I would. I would very much appreciate it. Well, guys, I have thoroughly enjoyed this, but uh, I have uh, really got to pee like a racehorse here. So, uh, all good things uh, must come to an end. Yes, all, all good things must come to an end. So maybe we need to, uh, in, uh, in a couple of months down the road, maybe we need to flip the, uh, to, to, to flip the, the, the microphone here, and, I, and I'll get to interview you two. So Absolutely, we will, uh, that'd be great. Well, less than, less than two months, so you know, speed it up. We'll, 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 we'll be on your show quicker than that. Okay, okay, brother, we'll make that happen. But it, but it really has been fun. Uh, uh, all this shit about the sex bots, like, uh, like I'm not yeah, in. I don't think you're gonna piss. I think you're going to Houston right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm in. All, all of this talk. I think you're gonna do number three there. Yeah, Sancho's like looking at me like we're in. You no, know, it ain't open yet. It's not. It's not gonna open till next week. So, uh, no, I got a few more days. I, I, I take back what I just said. That was. <laughs> Don't worry, I said it myself uh, okay. a, a couple of days bad. ago that I, you know, I'm, I'm my, my kind tribes members have actually, I, I, I just went on this dating site, pile of fish or whatever it's called, trying to find a woman. And uh, so for, for my birthday, uh, several of my, uh, my uh, tribes members uh, pitched in to buy me a paid subscription to pile of fish dating site so uh, I'm actually I threatened to take that money and run to Houston to the uh, to the uh, sex bot whorehouse with it but actually what I'm gonna do I have to guiltily admit uh, uh, is when I hang up on you guys I am going over to pile of fish dating service and uh, and try to find me a doomer chick so, so wish me luck. <laughs> well, well, I actually have one. Before you sign off, it just occurred to me. Let's get back to the sex bot thing for a <laughs> second. Lord, you just, you just can't mean, let it go, know. brother. Gotta take a break, okay? <laughs> <laughs> one more <laughs> sex bot question. Okay, so for a guy. Yeah. Is it more? Would it be more attractive? Uh, a more attractive proposition for a male than for a female? Or. I mean, what do you guys think? No, I, I understand. No, no, this is an equal opportunity whorehouse. That that women are that they actually have uh, they they actually have male models, and I guess the women can uh, can you know they have this screw on dildo penises for the women, and and and, and surprisingly, uh, and and we don't need to know why I was so interested in this. It was it was. <laughs> It was not that they, they've actually did surveys of women talking about what is your perfect size penis. And it was not the, the, the you know, these big ass schlongs like uh, you would think from watching you porn that, uh, that apparently women are not in, in, into those big ass things. So uh, I, 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 anyway, uh, that that gives us all some hope well, we here, the, tonight, but but I've I've given uh, I'm giving way too much information to the Doomer chicks on pile of fish, and they'll just have to find oh, that, that out for I'm themselves. Very with this deep dive you started, yeah. with this Houston establishment. But I can, I but, can only imagine what the mailbot says to the woman. Uh, uh, 
Oh, you you explain yourself so wonderfully. Please elaborate. I wonder. I wonder if that it, you know, as if when they screw on a a different size penis dildo, that when the women do and go in there, whether the men say something different. Then, uh, you know, does a guy with a little dick say something different than the sex bot with the big dick? But uh, I, I assure you, I am never going to bring you a first hand account of that. That is, you will never with hear that. that, that uh, on... we'll, uh, we'll finally close this subject. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate uh, the deep I, uh, analysis. I, I wonder. I wondered uh, where this uh, where this conversation was going to lead with you two. Osama tried to warn me exactly where it was going to go. If Hambone Littletail uh, got in a conversation with the two of you, and so I should not be surprised. But it's been a lot of fun, and I mean, all joke, all likewise. all joking aside, guys, uh, we're fucked. Uh, you, you know, we, we can laugh oh, yeah. about sex I'm not bots. Gonna it, though. I'm, I'm not going to fight it, though. I'm not going to fight it, Hambone. I'm, uh, I'm not trying to survive this thing here. And I'm going to close with the way I close every one of my videos, which is 50% of what my videos are about. Get out there and enjoy it while you still can. We do not know when the, the end is nigh. It could happen tomorrow. You need to get out there and uh, and grab all the gusto you can get while you still can, brothers, and and, and laugh while you still can. That's yeah, all we've yeah. got. All right. All right. Well, appreciate you being on. We'll we'll do this again. We will, brother. It's been fun. See right. ya. Take care. See ya, Pambone. Bye. Yeah.